Welcome back to Darkwood. It's time to go find out what's left in the village now that I've burned down the tree. It sounds different, doesn't it? Wait. Where's... Where's the old man? New journal entry, ashes. They left their fish. It worked. Only ashes remain of the tree. I feel I'm approaching the end of my journey. Is it possible? No way. Can't be. Mm. There's no way. So I can just walk there underneath the tree, huh? Continue on that way. There's no fucking way. We know there's another way to go. That seems to be kind of a permanent progression. The radio tower. We know in the past, anyone who's gone this way with the tree has gotten a bullet to the head. If there are two ways to go, which is kind of what it seems like. I don't want to go this way, right? I'm just going to end up dead. Right? I feel like the tree pointing to the radio tower. Or I shouldn't say the tree like it's a single entity. It's made up of hundreds of different people with all of their own thoughts and desires and whatnot. I feel like the person in the tree that was pointing me to the radio tower, I feel like they were warning me. Warning me away. I don't think I want to go this way. Yeah, I don't want to go this way. I'm not going this way. Mm-mm. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to prep as if I'm about to leave to the radio tower cuz I think I am. And I'm going to I'm going to assume I can't come back at all, so I'm going to take everything with me that I think is important, all my ammo, all my weapons. And on the way to the radio tower, I'm going to go to the cottage near the junkyard and see if I can go under the water and find my way in there. Other than that, I kind of want to check out the Great Lake, but again, I've kind of come to the border of it, and it always just seems to be this spot where the screen goes completely black. Like, pitch black, and I don't think I can go in there at all. So I don't, I don't think there's much to see there. Yeah, alright, I'm going back to the hideout. Okay, I think I'm packed up to leave. Uh, so I'm, I'm bringing with me, keep in mind time is passing while I'm looking at this, so I want to be quick. Um, taking with me all my weapons, all four of them, shotgun, assault rifle, pistol, hunting rifle, all the ammo for them. Save for one small caliper magazine for the pistol I'm not going to take because it's not too important. Just want to carry one stack of that. Maximum number of lockpicks, uh, military flashlight with five spare batteries, one thing of gas just in case. I'm also going to take this underground key to tunnel number 21. Uh, it says another one, I don't think it's of any use, but for some reason... For some reason, I feel like taking it. I don't know why. I doubt it's going to matter at all. Seems completely pointless. But it feels kind of important for some reason. Who knows? And then I also... I'm going to bring with me three pieces of fabric just so I can sell them. You know, in case I move on to another zone. If this game is really that big, I'd be surprised. Okay. I'm going to head through the tunnels, pop out here, and then head up this way to go to the cottage near the junkyard.
Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, I was up here. To the piles of junk. Wait a minute. Oh, it's just down here? Who are you? Who... Oh. I just needed to look down. So this puddle, there's no underground entrance, is there? Just the ability to fish? Or at least there was? Yeah, okay. Alright, well we don't need to be super fast, but we should be, you know, don't want to dawdle too long because time's passing out here. So what was talking to me? Let me get my light out. Whoa. Looks like a giant snail thing. I'm here. Those are snail. Snail people. Trapped. I'm here. Trapped. Here. Her. Her? Cut me loose. Please. Oh! Oh shit. Holy crap, okay. Location already marked junkyard. Oh. Oh yeah, this is a, a legend for what the different letters mean, for what you're going to find in them. Okay. Let's see if there's anything particularly interesting that I haven't found. Ropes, tapes, antlers, tools, scrap metal clothes, broken axe, empty bottles, scrap metals, fine quality clothing. Didn't I see compressor parts somewhere? Ah, an old compressor. Yeah, an old compressor right here. Under... Under... What is that? F? Okay. Picture of like... I don't know, look kind of like an astronaut here. But it couldn't have been Piatrek, right? Actually, maybe Piatrek... No, how would Pietrek get here to take... Like, I'm thinking they're a tinker, so they'd love the junkyard, right? But it's not like they could just take little trips <laughs> here and back. Yeah, I don't think that's Pietrek, I don't know. Pietrek only showed up here when they died. Ugh. Oh, the shell is cracked. Maybe I could break it open. Oh. Uh... Alright. What's inside? Oh... Uh. That's a hand! Belly. The roof beneath the shell is completely destroyed. The snail's shell is probably also badly damaged. Maybe I'll be able to get inside the cottage through the skin on his belly. It seems quite frail. Oh, no! Looks like a human hand, but it's sticky and grown into the shell. A key grows out of the palm. I should be able to easily tear it off. Shed? Key? The shed back there that I already went into? can talk? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. That art. Oh my god. The art in this game is delightfully disgusting. Who are you? 
The snail's speech is extremely slow and slurry. He moves his jaw with great effort. It looks like it's about to fall off. Christ, it does. His eyes sag from their sockets. They dangle from side to side, trying to keep me in their sight. Why... Why are you disturbing my forced rest? His right eye raises with great effort and wobbles. Your face. What happened to you? The snail's jaw falls so low it almost detaches itself from the rest of the body. You scared me. You barely resemble a human. You should cover yourself. It's telling me that I barely resemble a human. They really just don't know what they look like, do they? I don't know what I look like. Don't know when they've turned into a monster. Suddenly I feel a subtle shiver beneath my feet. The snail's body livens up. Quiet! Hear that? Do you hear that voice? Snail tucks his head inside his shell. She calls to me. Can you hear it? The snail falls silent for a longer moment. The inside of the shell is almost completely silent. She's calling me, and I'm here, trapped, bound. The snail's body suddenly leans forward. The wooden construction of the cottage creaks under his huge bulk. I barely keep my balance. Cut me loose, please. I need to get out of here. She calls to me. Who is she? And how do I cut you loose? If you release me, I will leave. Come back tomorrow, and I won't be here anymore. You can live in my home. You'll like it. You just need to cut me loose. Um. The snail falls silent. His enormous head slowly drops to the shell. Giant gleaming drops of mucus appear on his slimy skin. You need to understand my predicament. I'm unable to do anything by myself. My legs are numb from lying here. I can't feel my arms at all. I admit, lying in the sun gives me this strange pleasure. But it's time for me to go. Understand, I have to. I wonder if the she that they talk about hearing is the call of the forest. Because I thought before, it seems like the forest kind of communicates with its its creatures, telling it what it wants. I thought that when I was reading that document about how the, the savages were kind of seemingly knowing where to go, congregating around possible escape points and things like that. <laughs> I can gossip with them. Show them a photo of a road. You're going there too? Wait. You're going there? Nod. Everyone is going there. It's the road home after all. Yeah. You're so ugly I feel like puking. You barely resemble a human being. Gee, thanks. Once there was a beautiful clearing, now everything's covered in water. And I've lost my gumboots. Do you have any gumboots on you? <laughs> now everything's covered in water. They must be talking about the Great Lake. So there used to be a clearing? Can I actually find gumboots somewhere? I'm assuming gum... I don't know what a gumboot is exactly, but I'm assuming that's like a rubber boot for wading through water. It was yesterday, or a few days ago, maybe a year? I woke up in front of the house. I thought I was dreaming. I took a step and fell down. I fell straight on the roof. How did this happen? Beneath the shell is completely destroyed. Maybe I'd be able to get inside the cottage through the skin on his belly. It seems quite frail. How do I cut you loose? 
Like, does cutting the belly cutting them loose? Could it be? I don't want to mess up and accidentally kill them when I'm not trying to, though. It's either that or I just, like, whack them in the face, but that can't be it either, right? But they said I'll leave. And you can have the house. But if I cut the belly and that allows me access to the house, then surely I don't need them to leave. I don't know. Is there anything else I can do? Let me try that key on the shack out here just to make sure that is what it's for. <laughs> yep. Okay, well, um... I mean, honestly, I probably shouldn't be cutting them loose because if they're just going to heed the call of the forest, they're just going to do bad things probably, but I could be wrong. I, I'm not sure. I'll be merciful. They don't seem violent so far. I'm gonna hope that um, this is gonna cut them loose. I hope this does. Okay, that did it. Leave me? Was that right? Are they saying leave me, like, get the hell out of here? Stop hurting me? Or leave me, like, I'm cut loose, now come back tomorrow? I don't quite understand. It said I'll need to keep cutting to get inside, but I feel like I'm supposed to wait? I... I don't know. Why are you doing this? The hole is still too small. Okay, so that's not what it wants me to do. I don't understand. How do I cut you free? How, am I supposed to hit you here? I just killed them. Although the hand's still moving. Shit. Fuck, that's not what I wanted to do. Turned out that it can speak, it begged me to cut it loose. I don't understand. How was I supposed to cut it loose? Uh. What? Well, feels bad. Loading screen? For just inside the house? Does time pass? It does not. Good. We have nothing to eat since the flood. I've caught some snails and frogs. Better this than nothing. I'm out of the crosswords I found last year in the old wardrobe at the junkyard. The only thing that's left is to continue writing the journal and listening to this strange radio. In two days, I will visit the junkyard again. Maybe I'll finally find a tape recorder or something that will allow me to record this weird signal. I feel there's some meaning hidden behind it. I'm hungry. I'm eating grass and whatever I find in the water. I've seen some strange men between the trees. They're not locals. They do not hide. They were dressed in strange clothes, but I was too far to take a better look. Besides, I'm alone and there was at least three of them. Maybe I'm delusional? Or maybe these old ruins aren't empty. 
I found a blank tape and a broken tape recorder. Maybe I can fix it and do something with it. I've also found some other useful things. I've written them down and left them for later. I don't have the strength to wear them all on my back. Is it possible that the radio tower emits this strange signal? It's been a couple of years since it's been turned over? The woods have blocked the way to it, but no other signal reaches this place from outside. It must be that tower. I need to take a break from this radio. I hear this voice everywhere. It's strangely familiar. I can't get it off my head. That voice must be the she, right? That they're talking about? Hearing them calling? It's interesting. I've got some snails and frogs, better this than nothing. It sounds like they became what they ate. They ate snails and somehow they became a snail or something. <laughs> Dear God. It's also interesting that it says, written down some stuff, I don't have the strength to wear them all on my back. I guess maybe at that point they already had a shell on their back, sort of thing. Wait. Is that what they meant by cut them loose? There's a person there and they're... It looks like they're connected. Oh, fuck. Oh. Duh. Are you her? it asked. People of the forest seem to be able to communicate through the radio somehow. I love the ambient sounds in here. This place sounds amazing. Location already marked radio tower. Yeah, that's the second place that points back to it. They really want to make sure you know to go there. A lot of rusty radio equipment is strewn on the floor. Old recorders and destroyed tapes. Everything is covered in goo dripping from the leaky ceiling. A dry corpse overgrown with small roots. Well, if that was what I was supposed to cut, not anymore. Maybe when I killed the snail, I killed them? I don't know. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. I'm not sure if you're even supposed to know, to be honest. Even the journal says, It baked me to, and then in quotes, cut it loose. Like, even my character didn't understand what that means. So they talked about tapes, and I found an old tape a while ago. I wonder if they made it? Old cassette. Yeah, I don't know. There's no writing on it or anything. I'd really like to try to play it. it looks kind of broken though, doesn't it? All this? <laughs> that should be inside of the tape. Just says number two on it. I don't know. Second side, I guess. Yeah, it's like they're connected to the roots of the forest. And the radio itself is connected to the roots. It's all connected. I'm sorry I killed you. I didn't know what to do.
was supposed to cut the hand or something? I don't know. Didn't seem like there's anything I could do from out here. Let's see what they say on the way out. Are they still going to communicate with me? Nope. They're all silent. I don't know if I did a good thing there. I don't really know what I did. Okay, um... So let's think for a second. They did talk about how the Great Lake used to be a valley before it was flooded. That makes me think there could be something more to the Great Lake, but like... Surely I'm not going to be able to drain an entire lake, right? There's no way. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably just a bit of lore. Just a bit more backstory. I don't think it has anything to do with something I'm able to do. I feel like I've done so much here. Surely I must be done. Although I never found anything more at the sawmill, but... I'm, I'm going to go to the radio tower. I should have just enough time to get to the radio tower. Here we go. Okay. New journal entry. Only one shot. Hmm? I found a floodgate in the tunnel. I'm afraid I will only have one shot of getting further down the passage. I feel it will lead me to the right place. I do. I really do. Okay. So is this going to fill up with water? Open only if I close the previous one. <laughs> so, uh, assume I can't go back? No. Nope. is covered in some kind of fungus. I can't use it now. I need to find a way to get rid of the parasite first. Does that open up this door, maybe? Seems to be blocked from the other side. Hmm. How do I get rid of fungus? Fire, perhaps? Maybe an axe? Oh! Whew. I don't know if that was a good idea. <laughs> was that supposed to happen? Maybe I should have used a Molotov on it from a distance. Uh oh. Uh. Vision? I don't have anything on me now. Is that open? No. Just a flashlight. I can hear someone calling incomprehensibly from the depths of the corridor. Could that be... Her? Am I hearing her voice as well? Come to me. Uh, I got a bad 
bad feeling about this. does that say? I mean, it's in Polish, right? The words come to me have been scratched out on the ground. Shiny stone. I don't like shiny stones. They creep me out. Look at it. Such a strange thing. I found so many shiny stones on crosses and stuff, on people that have been shot in the head. It just disturbs me to have it, but I guess I'll keep it for now. Another one? There's text all over the ground. I feel like I'm following a breadcrumb trail of shinies to my doom. Oh, you can see the walls are pulsating and I can't move any further. Well, there's the shiny stone pathway. I wish I knew what this said, by the way. It probably just come to me or something. There's the shiny pathway there, or the other pathway. Let's go down the other pathway. Whoa, huh? Are you lost? Their face, they're twitching. Half dead man, pale, withered skin, hollow eyes, teeth black as night. He looks dead, all right, but he's still moving. Ugh. I guess I can't go that way. I really don't want to have all these shiny stones on me. Should I just drop them? Fragments of bloody cloth lie on the trunk. I'm not picking up these stones anymore. In fact, I'm gonna drop these. They're making me deeply uncomfortable. Down. Up. Three pathways to go out of here. Oh. Oh! Shit! I think you've lost your way, buddy boy. Now, why do people keep telling me I've lost my way? I wonder if they mean just here specifically? Or like in a grander sense, like I shouldn't be down here at all. Shiny breadcrumbs. This seems like the way I'm supposed to go. It opens up into a bigger chamber. Let's see what's down here. Oh, wait. Maybe not. That's a shiny stone. Oh, I turned off my light at some point. What do you think you're doing here? Get lost, poor fella. 
Whoa. Jesus. Oh! Oh, fuck me! Oh, no. Shit. I can't use my abilities. Oh. Did they lose me? Fuck. I still hear them. Wait, 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 wait. Is this just back here? Back to door 21? Back to the old zone, isn't it? Or is it a different place? Maybe they all look the same. Just gonna check this way. So just loop around to somewhere I've already been. It does, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going back this way just to make sure I don't see the spiders. I hope I'm not just going back to this same damn place. I bet this door is going to shut behind me. This is familiar. This looks like that room in the doctor's place. Where I woke up. Where I escaped out of. Uh oh, it just closed behind me. Entry to a small cellar, maybe the pantry. Could open it with a lockpick. Yeah, I don't have a lockpick. Oh, there's probably... One here. Isn't this, like, what happened at the beginning of the game? Oh, now just around me, it looks like it's the doctor's place again. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a bandage. I should use it. There's the shovel. I'm pretty sure I had that before. And I used it to bust this open, didn't I? Locked from the other side. Barricaded. Barricaded. I hear a beating heart. Radio Unitra? What? Unitra? Oh, is he pulsing slightly beneath the ground? Oh! Is that me? A metal table with leather belts strapped on. Hey, 
table leg. Very sturdy oak table leg. Uh oh. Oh. Body's gone. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Can I move this thing? What? What just happened there? Am I breaking it? It doesn't seem like it. I don't see it taking damage. Shit. Am I gonna get mobbed by those things again? Take bills real fast. Oh shit, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. Dead man. Plastic chick again? Shit. Go, 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 go. Do I need to run out into the night? Go, go, go! Are they gone? I can force my way out? Is that what I said? Ah! There's my table leg. I have no defense now. Rags. What's happening? Where does that go? Is that where I need to go? This that white jelly stuff underneath the ground. I'm not sure if I'm being chased or not. I don't think so, but I feel like I should be running. Don't need another fucking shiny stone. Whoa. Back through? up behind me. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I think I need to run. Yep. I still can't use my abilities. Where the hell am I? Whoa! No! Oh. 
No, 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 no. Do I have to? Fuck. Need to find a way out in another part of the woods I won't be able to get through using this tunnel. Why? Why? Did I fail? What just happened? Is it guaranteed to fail, or did I fail somehow? Did I do something wrong, I wonder? I wonder if that could have been the way out if I didn't do a certain thing. I don't know. I mean, I, I went into the- literally into the open maws of the forest and got eaten. But like, I didn't know what else to do. The spiders would have killed me in... seconds. That is so strange. I'm not sure what to make of that. Oh, the floodgates are open, so that opens my way out. Uh, back. The way I came. So what- what just happened? Oh! More odd meat. It's another one of those things. That's the second one I've seen. You only have one chance? I did fuck it up, didn't I? Ah, oh, whatever I was supposed to do, oh no. Shit. I wonder what I was supposed to do. That was stressful as hell. So if I was successful, I'm guessing I would maybe... ...be able to go through here? Shit. Yeah, I mean, why else would it say when you start to go down here that this may be like a one-way trip? Why would it say that unless it actually was? You know, unless there was a possibility of it being a one-way trip. In this case, it wasn't. I think there was a way to do that differently. And I fucked it up somehow. It must have been at the very end, right? Going into the maws of the thing? Maybe if I just kept running, I could have found somewhere else. I don't know. <sighs> I feel so defeated. Alright, I need to get home really quick. Um, definitely go into the holes, right? Yeah. Alright. Shit. I feel like such a failure. I really want to know what happened. What would have happened. I wonder if I just missed out on the good ending. If there is a good ending, I don't know. Alright, I'll meet you back at the hideout. Oh, crap.
Uh oh. Oh wait, that's just bugs. Oh, I need my lantern on. It's probably one somewhere in here. Maybe back here? No. Okay, I guess not. Maybe I can surprise him, come behind him. Shit. Well, not much of a surprise. For the night, I'm gonna chameleon. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I chameleoned. I think it'll last me for the rest of the night. As long as I don't move. Oh, it makes drippy noises. see a gained reputation with the three this time? I mean, granted, I'm not expecting them to even show up, because they didn't yesterday. And indeed, they didn't today. Man, I gotta say, I feel so defeated and so deflated after that experience going to the radio tower. I feel like I just missed out on the good ending. I don't know if that's even a thing. I have no idea, but like I could I feel like I got so far into it. It was this whole long experience and I feel like there were so many opportunities for me to die, especially at the doctor's like at the doctor's house when I managed to escape on very little health and heal myself and I managed to kill a couple and then run outside and run away without dying. And then I managed to run away from those spider things. When they said, like, hey, you're going the wrong way. And that was so hard, and I feel like I got so far. Like, I must have been so close. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well. Well, we can pray that... Going to the village tree that I burned down is not a horrible thing. I'm hesitant to say ending because this game seems seems infinitely long, but this truly feels like it's the ending. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we are going the way of the tree.